Good morning, it is 10 o'clock on Tuesday the 18th of June and it's time for Today in My Pujo. Um, <laughs> wow, yeah, I've just edited yesterday's video and it's uploading now. Um, I did not realise how absolutely fucking knackered I was um until i watched it back and there's actually periods in it where i just i went completely quiet and i didn't even realize i'd done it until i watched it back um which is actually quite it, it's quite scary to think that i was in that position or in that state without without actually realizing you know um <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I sort of just watched it through because you've got to watch it as you edit it so you know when to cut things out and all of that lot. And um, it was like I just shut down. My brain just... I'm so glad I didn't try to stay up to edit it. I went to bed. It was half past nine when I went to bed. It was still daylight outside. Um, so was it half nine? What time was sunset yesterday? Sunset was 9.20. So it was still quite light. So I must have gone to bed about quarter past, half past nine. Um, I lay there, I literally just lay there with my eyes shut. Daryl woke up at 10, he's got this horrible cough and it, it was hurting. I mean, my throat hurt, so I can't imagine how he must be feeling. Um, and he woke up and cried and I went into him and that was about quarter past 10, I think. Because I checked, I thought, God, you know, how long have I been asleep? And it was still, it still wasn't dark. You know, sunset might have been at 9.20, but it, it wasn't actually dark at that point. And I went in and gave him some medicine and cuddled with him and um, he literally fell asleep, straight back to sleep. So I went for a wee and I went back to bed and then I just slept and slept. I didn't even want to get up this morning. I still feel tired now. My throat hurts. I think I'm just run down. It's just general, with everything that's been going on, it's it's mental and emotional, knackered as well as, um, just moving my keyboard, as well as, um, physical knackered from not sleeping very well for the past couple of weeks so yeah so I apologize that yesterday's vlog is 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 you know has for me hasn't yet gone up at 10 a.m on 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 Tuesday it is coming okay so it is literally uploading as I speak it's nine percent uploaded I literally did that set it to upload I was actually uploading it oh, I was talking to you just now um and um it then came on to start today so yeah, yeah sorry um i did manage to i did the word didn't i and i did do my hands and face before i went to bed self-care is important people oh i've got to show you this right you're gonna love this um uh my son alex i can't remember if i told you has just started um, wrestling. He's training with Stuart's brother Neil. I did tell you, I'm sure I did. And um, <laughs> he came home. He trained on Sunday, and he came home. And um, this is a bruise on his hip. All right, I'm I'm going to focus this in because you guys need to see this in all its freaking glory. But. Um, yeah, that's his right hip. That was on Sunday night, I think it was. Was that Sunday night or Monday morning? Might have been Monday morning. That's this morning. I took that this morning. <laughs> Look at it. It's that's his hip. That's his entire hip there. That's his thigh. Um, you know, his knee is like down here somewhere, he's quite tall. <laughs> but look at the I mean, this thing is fucking huge. It's, it's, it's bigger than, it's as big as my hand, if not bigger. And it was just like, and he says, funny enough, that one doesn't really hurt. He's got a small wound on his ankle, it's about that big, where his ankle hit the side of the, um, ring apron. And he's got like a little graze mark on it. And then there's a bruise underneath it. It literally hit right on like the, the... A joint of the ankle and he said you know that really really hurt but that massive great big he says that doesn't really hurt and i'd sent it to neil and i went god that's because i sent i sent him a message on sunday while well, i post on facebook i said neil i don't know what you did to him but i've never heard him snore so loud and he answered it on monday and he said oh no he did really well you know he th threw himself into it and all that lot 
and uh, I posted a picture of his leg. He went, oh my God, how did he do that? I was like, Neil, <laughs> he was with you. <laughs> so yeah, needless to say, he, he, he came home limping. <laughs> it was so funny. Bless his heart. Right. Oh, I could just go sleep. I go sleep now. Right, I did 17,000 steps yesterday. That in itself is pretty exhausting. But yeah, oh dear. I just had to laugh at Neil. He was like, how do you do that? Oh, for fuck's sake, Neil. He was with you. You did it. You abused my son. <laughs> It's a long running joke years and years and years ago when Alex was quite small um, before Neil got into actual professional wrestling and training and all that lot. They were mucking, they were mucking around on a bouncy castle. So I don't actually remember this. Alex does and Neil does. They were mucking around on a bouncy castle and Neil went to throw Alex in a, in a wrestling manoeuvre and just at the last second realised that if he threw Alex in that general direction that Alex was going to break his leg on a brick wall. So Neil pulled the throw by pulling Alex's arm see that I'm flashing my boobs again um, by pulling Alex's arm and Alex said his arm hurt for weeks after he wrenched all his shoulder and all that see this is what happens when children play at wrestling people don't let them do it it's not safe and if there's any young people watching this you only do wrestling in a controlled environment with people who know what they're bloody well doing Neil does know what he's doing now because he's been training at it for quite a while um, and he's actually going for for some tag team tag team championships next month so i said we could all go along and support that but yeah they, they i mean neil's quite a bit younger than me um he's about seven years younger than me so yeah when alex was very small neil was still like in his 20s do you know what i mean so and he's quite a kid himself bless him so uh yeah Right, I didn't actually write down what I got. Look, two for. I don't think I'm going to fit it all in. Two four one four for Sunday, which was one point zero two miles. That's awful, isn't it? Look, I, I barely moved. Right, seventeen thousand seven hundred and seventeen, which was seven point four seven miles. Yay! Right. Pardon me. just had toast for breakfast in an effort to wake my ass up <coughs> it's not working <coughs> excuse me i could still i could quite happily go back to bed but i've got to go down the road and paint a freaking wall well I'll paint a ceiling and then maybe paint the walls after that if i can i don't know i'll do my best but okay um I didn't clean the bath yesterday. I know in the in, in the morning bit I said I was going to, but I didn't. And it's throwing me because I'm going down the road today, and I normally go down the road on Wednesdays, but I've got to go down the road tomorrow to do the cleaning. So it's it's throwing me a bit. So yeah, I didn't get that done. Um, I did journal. I did that this morning, and I stuck my little thingy in just now. So that's all good. So let's change the pen. And get on with today. What's the weather like? Guess. It's fucking raining again. I am so fed up with the rain. I'm beyond fed up with the rain. I am done with the rain. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. It's raining. Okay. Um, light rain. No. No, no metal I'm looking out of my window that is not a light rain that is that is monsoon weather out there and we've got a yellow warning for thunderstorms <sighs> yeah up to 95% rain wow yeah and it feels like 15 degrees the high is 17 and the low is 14 and the wind is 2 it says in a south south east direction Well, ain't that pants? UV force cast is low, pollen is moderate, air pollution is less. I love that it gives you all these, it even tells you like the pressure. Not that I can understand that, but there we go. Right, so 
it's basically grumpy out there today. That do. Okay, little bits of rain. It's such a shame. It was so beautiful yesterday. I mowed my lawn. It really was a stunning day yesterday. Right. So what I say? Seventeen over. Oh, it's going to be warmer tonight. Not that I noticed how cold it was last night. I was snuggled down fast asleep. Oh four fifty one. To nine twenty again. Okay, let's paint it. There's no other colour other than grey out there today. There's no blue sky, it's just grey. I'm just going to blast that. Dry it off, then we can get on. Right. I've um, got an extension sort of sitting on top of other things down there and it fell off <laughs> while I was doing it. That's why I, I sort of scrabbled around down there. Okay, so day face cream is done. I'm not wearing makeup to go out in the rain and get soaking wet and go and paint and all that lot. You know, the paint doesn't care what I look like and neither does the rain, funnily enough. Uh, right, card, let's do, do the everyday enchantment tarot. It needs a colour. Um oh. let's do let's do brown. I don't do brown enough. That's such a good colour that as well. It's like perfect colour for wood and shit. Well, it is actually a perfect colour for shit, but there you go. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that until I said it. 9.47, that is, guys. <laughs> eh. Dough. I want that one. Page of coins. Eh. Okay, um... The page of coins. Oh, what do you see? Tell me. What do you see, guys? Pages usually refer to quite young people, okay, or young at heart, or young think, you know, young, young thinkers, maybe, you know. Um, coins obviously can refer to money, or usually does refer to money, or a financial state of mind. Um, so yeah, tell me what you see. bring it a bit closer so you can actually see like the smaller details uh, where's the focus point there it is okay so you've got this young person doesn't matter whether it's a girl or a boy it's a young person walking several dogs okay somebody's offering them money guy in the background's got his thumbs up lady and the baby are all smiling they've all got their thumbs up yeah it looks like quite a nice area doesn't it quite a nice neighborhood so what do you see tell me what you see then come back to me okay what i see this is a young person i mean and young does not necessarily mean a child you know um i mean alex is 23 and in my view he's still young God, <gasps> never thought i'd say that but yeah um, he's a young person and i actually think this might be referring to my son alex um alex recently got himself a job um and you know he's, he's doing quite well he's working hard so i'm hoping that this is you know referring to him i see a young person um they're doing quite well for themselves at the moment you know I see a young person he's doing quite well for himself at the moment you know um, somebody's offering him money maybe to walk these dogs for them um, these people approve of everything that he's doing you know he's, he's in quite a nice area and all of that lot so yeah this is somebody who's got the right idea they've got the head screwed on and they're moving on and, and they're doing quite well for themselves at the moment so yeah is that what you saw 
you know, tell me, tell me what you saw. So, so I've put, uh, I've literally just put what I said, a young person who's doing quite well for themselves and then Alex and, and a question mark. So yeah, I'm very proud of him, he's doing ever so well. We'll do the mood later. I've got, um, I'll show you in a minute, <laughs> I'm getting there. Um, I'll show you when I get my, to get to my calendar. Right. Sleep. Now, I went to bed. Yeah. According to this, I didn't go to bed until 10 to 11. I know it was earlier than that, but I think my Fitbit was so shocked it didn't actually record it because I must have got up for the toilet about that. I don't know why it didn't record it earlier. Now I know I went to bed earlier than that. And I was awake for a little bit in the night. So I woke up at about half six. I think I was awake for about half an hour at two. And from about half ten. And then I'm going to put that in that little bit there. And although it was quite broken, it was a really good sleep. And I'd like another one, please. <laughs> I would love to sleep like that again. You know, I, I still feel really, really tired. Like, bone crunching tired. I would quite happily go and curl up in bed right now and go back to sleep. But... stuff to do and unfortunately when you've got work to do you can't just you know forget about it and I know yeah it's my own business I'm my own boss and that but if it was my house I was decorating I would say fuck it and I'd leave it another day but it's not and I've, I've got a tenant that's waiting to have the ceiling and the walls repainted so it's got to get done Right, I have done the loo. Um, so, so far. Yeah, so um, I have a dinner tonight. My second son, Matthew, is a chef. And Thursday is my birthday. But he's working. So he said he finishes at a reasonable time tonight. Alex is going to finish at a reasonable time tonight. So he's going to cook us dinner. And we get to have it down the big house. So, because um, they've got, uh, I, I always call it the big house. I, I raised my children in that house. They were all born when I lived here. And then I moved out of here and I moved down the road. We, we bought a big five bedroom house. It used to be a B&B &B down the road. And my children grew up in that house. And I moved out of there in 2013. And I moved to Romsey, which is where I met Daryl's dad. And um we had that we you know fell with daryl and had daryl it was a whirlwind romance and all that shit um and then when i moved back here i moved into the flat next door to the big house because my mum owns that as well and um we sort of sat and discussed what we were going to do and i was in that house when daryl was born in the flat when daryl was born and then um we discussed what we were going to do and all that lot my sister was living here and she didn't want to stay here anymore she'd had enough um she decided it's about time her children moved out on their own and she didn't need a three-bedroom house and the idea was was that my sister was always going to have the flat um when my mum passes so we decided we would move all around now and or you know a couple, couple of years what two three years ago i've been back in here three years now um so my sister moved into the flat i moved into here my mum and my older children all live down in the big house with um, a long-term friend of my daughter's and they all rent rooms off of, off of me. I'm the house manager. My mum owns it, but I'm the house manager and I will be taking it over when my mum passes. Um, so I basically, I do everything now. I do, she's, I'm in control of it all with her watching me so that she knows that I know what I'm doing. Because I, I have no idea about tax and all that kind of thing because I've been a mum all my life. I've, I've not worked um, and I have no idea about all that kind of thing. So she's basically training me, <laughs> as it were, to uh, run. It's called a HMO, a house of multiple occupancy, which sounds like I'm running a, a, a boardy house, but I'm not. I'm running a boarding house. 
okay I rent rooms and um, I call it the big house because it's bigger than my house I've always called it the big house even when I lived there it was the big house so um, yeah so I've got to go down to the big house <laughs> because um, we had a leak we lost a roof tile and we had a big big fucking leak so we had to have the ceiling redone in one of the bedrooms and my daughter is currently staying with her boyfriend so that we could empty out her room and have the ceiling replastered which has been done but now um, we've also decided to swap her and Kyle round so Kyle's having her room and she's going to go into his bedroom because it's slightly smaller and she doesn't need that much space so um yeah so i said right well, well we'll decorate it and paint it and get it all sorted out carl can move in there and then she can move back into the house and put all her stuff in there um yeah but tonight we have dinner done because my birthday so yeah right so that's pretty much it let me do hickey in um i've got to do all of that um page go yeah um so yeah just literally i'm going down to paint and uh, i'm back down there later for dinner I've got to go down the road at some point and buy dog food and probably other bits and bobs, but there we go. Yeah. Right, what are the prompts for today? The prompts for today that I have to draw out at some point. Oh, dearie. Oh, goodness. R. R, 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 R. Uh, a peach. Mm, I could eat a peach for hours. A black hole. Ooh. And best is the word. A peach and a black hole. Mm, okay. There we go. Right. I'm going to go and get on with my day. And uh, I will see you all in the evening edition. I hope you have a fantastic one. And I really hope it's not bloody raining where you are. I'm so sick. Um, yeah, I'll see you all tonight. Bye. Hiya. Uh, it's 9pm. It's time for the evening edition. I haven't done... <laughs> I haven't sketched anything out or anything like that. I'm just going to do the bare bones this evening and I'm going to get another early night because I'm struggling again. Um... I didn't wear makeup. I haven't done the challenges. I haven't had booze, uh, fizzy or caffeine or chips. I will get caught up on the challenges tomorrow. Um, for today and tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, re I'm really tired again um, you've all been really nice with everything that you've said today about you know it's all natural and I should just go with it just, I'm so fed up feeling like crap at the moment so um oh, beep beep oh <laughs> right so I'm going to put my mood at a five I think I had a lovely dinner today down the big house and uh, we had chicken that my son made cooked and um, peach cobbler for afters which was lovely and I made the custard I love custard and I feel fat now <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's probably part of why I feel so tired yeah. but I've, I'm definitely fighting something my throat is absolute agony I feel like I've swallowed a bag of grit or something done in the way of tasks because I've been down the road so yeah um, but 
bins out in a minute. And I'll check the cupboard and check the fridge to make sure there's nothing else to get rid of. But I doubt I'll do much more. Don't need to clean the kitchen because I haven't used it. It's lovely having dinner somewhere else. Dinner is my word for today. <sighs> I hope the weather's playing havoc with me as well. It's so crap out there. And I just... just don't want to do anything. So dinner was lovely. I got one coat of paint up on the ceiling. Dude, if you've never done it, roll, roller it, you know, the paint roller? Doing that on an extendy pole on a ceiling is like, ah, oh, it's hard, really hard. Um, I haven't filled out, like I said, I'm going to do this tomorrow, okay? I don't have a lot to um, journal, but I will get it done tomorrow. Ooh. Let's see what the prompts quick. Let's have a look. Mm. My son's bruise. He got up today and he was like, Mum, you said, look at this bruise now. And this was this morning. It looks even worse now. Look at that. Now, all of this bit down here, this is all black as well. But yeah, this was this morning. <laughs> it looks even worse now. You've shown it to everybody at dinner. And it's just like, wow, that looks quite bad. So. Oh, oh yeah. It's a peach on it. <coughs> on a black hole. First idea how to draw a black hole. I'm gonna do this tomorrow because I'm I am really struggling again guys and I don't I don't wanna be like this for the whole of tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. I will be back for Wednesday's edition of Today in My Bujo. I don't know if I'm going live tomorrow evening. Um, excuse me. Um, keep an eye on YouTube. If I'm going to go live, I'll set it up to do a reminder thing for everybody. Um, but I'm expecting to hear from Stuart's sister in law tomorrow regarding the. Um, post-mortem and I, I don't you know I'm not quite sure how I'm going to feel tomorrow so there will be a video whether it's a live one or not I don't know um, so yeah so you know please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and all of that jizz jazz jaws uh, click the book you'll be subscribed if you hit the bell and YouTube wants to play nice you'll be notified when I upload new content Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the nice things you guys have been saying. And uh, hey, I did pronounce that right. It is Nasty Goring. And uh, Wendy has promised to show me how to make it properly because her mother is Indonesian. And um, she grew up on that stuff. So I'm like, oh, yay. I'm going to learn how to make Indonesian food. <laughs> She's going to come visit me next year, she says. Teach me to cook proper. Like what our mummy does. So, yeah. Nasi Goring, that's how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, and it's a traditional rice dish, apparently. There you go. Learn something new every day. I'm looking forward to that. <gasps> you all have been really lovely, and I really appreciate you guys so much. I really do. Um, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding of what's going on. Um, and thank you for being there for me. You're all fantastic. I love you all loads and I will see you tomorrow in some way, shape or form. We might do a live, but it will be a quick one, alright? Um, dependent on, I've got more painting to do, you see, so if I could get a nap in. After all that sleep I got last night, I slept this afternoon too. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow guys, take it easy.